There are many times when I'm starting work with a new patient and they begin therapy and I will discuss the importance of compression bandaging during their treatment regimen. The patient often responds by saying, I don't do bandaging, I won't do it, I can't do it, I've tried it in the past, or on the flip side, they'll say, I have some great stretchy bandages at home, can I use those? And it's really important for you as a patient to understand why lymphedema therapists choose the bandages we choose and how other alternatives are really just not appropriate. Now, the study I'm reviewing today is called the Comparative Study of Long and Short Stretch Woven Compression Bandages, and it was published in the Autex Research Journal in October of 2021. Now first, we need to discuss the difference between long stretch bandages and short stretch bandages, which are the ones we use in lymphedema therapy. So here is a long stretch bandage, also known as an elastic compression bandage, and the material and weave of this bandage allow it to stretch more than 120% of its original length. These bandages provide high resting pressures and low working pressures on a limb. And when we look at short stretch bandages, they're weaved very differently. And these bandages are meant to only extend 60 to 70% of their original length. These bandages provide a high working pressure, which is necessary for lymphatic drainage and venous flow. Now, short stretch bandages are designed to be applied in layers in order to get a graduated pressure gradient, which means that the pressure will be higher at the ankle than it is at the knee when we're talking about a lower leg and this study does. And this type of bandaging improves venous flow, venous return to the heart, the venous pump action, and it also reduces venous reflux as well as edema. Now, when we're talking about long stretch bandages, remember they have a high resting pressure. So when the patient stands up, this pressure increases only minimally by about eight millimeters of mercury. And while it will accommodate for changes in shape and movement, it doesn't provide a compression against the muscles with movement. And now a short stretch bandage should be tight and snug when laying down, but upon standing, it can raise the pressure by as much as 25 millimeters of mercury, which is significant. And it will alternate these pressures between higher and lower with movement of the body part and pushing of the muscles against the bandage. And it's this oscillation or change in pressure that's really important for that pumping action to work most effectively. When you're walking or performing other upright exercises, the bandages push against the muscle, the muscles push back against the bandage, and this is what has the greatest effect on moving fluid and swelling out of an area. The study reviewed short stretch bandages were truly superior in helping to heal wounds and improve venous reflux versus long stretch bandages. Now the study also notes that long stretch, that long stretch bandages can sustain their pressure for up to one week whereas short stretch bandages are effective for only two to three days. And the short stretch bandages are ideal for mobile patients, but obviously they will need to be reapplied more frequently as the edema approves and as the patient is able to move more to augment pressure to, to the limb itself. The study goes on to look at exact pressures in different positions, weaves of material, the makeup of the short and long stretch bandages, and they're all available to read in the study as posted below. But in conclusion, the study does show that short stretch bandages are more effective at reducing edema. Now, as a lymphedema therapist, I believe education is the most important tool that any patient can have. Understanding why we do what we do and why it's important to follow these rules will help you better understand your own treatment process and the importance of following our plan of care as directed. While lymphedema bandages may require more frequent washes and more attention to application, they really are the best choice when trying to reduce the size of a limb. If there are very particular reasons why a patient can't tolerate short stretch bandages, there are other inelastic compression options that you can discuss with your own therapist and your own medical team. As with all treatment options, it's very important to work closely with your medical team to make these decisions as what's going to be best for you moving forward. My name is Lisa Berman Silvestri. I'm a physical therapist and a certified lymphedema therapist, and my goal is to make us all lymph smart.